OpenSea is the biggest NFT marketplace on Ethereum and right now also on Solana and a bunch of other blockchains. They keep on building, they keep on adding new stuff and I decided that 2023 is really the great year to review all the changes they made and also tell you more about NFTs. If you're just new to NFTs, if you have never bought a non-fungible token, then this is the easiest way to do it. So what you will need to do in the very first place is have a crypto wallet. Crypto wallet like Metamask, uh, installed from metamask.io, will allow you to interact with any kind of web-free uh, website like OpenSea, uh, you will be able to register just by connecting your wallet. You can think about it just like a Google wallet or Apple Pay where you just connect and you, you this is your ID and uh, a way to pay at the same time. So having connected uh, to, to OpenSea, you will be able to buy NFTs right away just after you top up your MetaMask wallet or other wallet if you're going for other uh, blockchains. But uh, in this case, you'll need to have uh, the top up will be coming either from uh, an exchange, crypto exchange, or it might come from MetaMask itself because it has been integrated with a bunch of uh, providers, for payment providers. So let's get started. Assuming that you already have installed a crypto wallet and already connected, uh, you'll be able to see the screen. Basically, OpenSea has introduced drops. Drops are giving you, uh, drops are basically a, a way to sell new NFT collections uh, coming uh, and you can see each of the drop going directly to the drop. Uh, for example, for this one, the founder's key, there are 14 hours uh, until the launch and uh, this is a, uh, some kind of a special pre-sale for VIPs uh, and everything around about the drop is here in the description. So basically those are the new collections uh, to be found on the OpenSea website, but if you're just looking for the new NFTs, uh, you can go to the trading and uh, in trading, then basically you will see what people are buying. Uh, this is by uh, tra trading means basically by uh, how many are bought currently or by the volume. You can also go to the top and see uh, directly the volume on also on the older collections because uh, trending will mostly show you newer collections, uh, also with the volume, uh, this, is the, this is the top 10 ranking. So if you want to discover what people are buying in the last 24 hours or maybe uh, the, the last uh, seven days, this is basically where you go. You can also see, go for view all and you will have a bunch of stuff here uh, for, the, for the all categories. Uh, you can go through all the collections that are trending uh, right now. This is usually the good way to discover the collections. However, before buying anything, you basically need to understand more about the collection. So the best way to do it is, for example, if you go into one of the collections like the memes uh, by Punk6529, then basically you will have within the collection all the, all the basic stuff. So you have statistics. Uh, there are also right now cool analytics about uh, about a particular collection. This is really a good, great feature from uh, OpenSea. Uh, you will have the analysis of volume price, floor price uh, as well, how it changed over time. Uh, you will have uh, the recent sales, the re recent listings as well. Uh, so we can see everything, how it distributes the price, owners, uh, the top owners of particular assets. Uh, so this is really great. Uh, on the other si side, you can go also for activity. Uh, and see, uh, this will show you uh, how the price changes over time. So you'll see this familiar graph. It looks like any altcoin actually. And then you will be able to see the particular sales of particular items in the collections. For the items, if you just want to go for particular NFTs, uh, in this case, this is the, uh, a great example because it's a, it's a card with multiple copies. So you have those different meme cards. Uh, and for example, if you want to buy one of the cards, you go inside, you click on the, on the image, and then you can see that uh, there are 4,000 copies of this particular card. And one card is being sold for uh, around $500 with the current price of ETH, uh, 0.4 almost um, uh, this is this is the, the the price action you can see how the price was uh, doing in the past couple of uh, couple of months so this is great you can see all the listings so what people are listing that for 
uh, this is relevant in the multiple uh, with the case of NFTs with multiple copies like this one. Uh, if there's only one copy, there's be, there will be only one listing, of course, or, or no no listing at all. Uh, and on the other side, you can see also offers. So what people are offering. Uh, with many collections that are popular, uh, the market are pretty liquid, me meaning that uh, you can also get, get, a, get an offer and people are often selling to an offer, uh, which gives you instant liquidity. So you don't have to wait for someone to pick up your price. If you were to, to sell it, uh, you can say, okay, 0 0.33 is a good price. Uh, maybe I will get a little bit less than I'm uh, willing to, than, than what is the, the current price, current floor price. But this current floor price it just means that someone is willing to list that for this price. It doesn't mean that it will sell for this price. Uh, on the other hand, uh, offers are what people are actually willing to pay for your NFT. So this is really useful to have a look at that. Uh, and then there is a bunch of stats about uh, about the uh, about the collections, uh, the, the, about the particular card. Uh, this is a lot of things here. You can also go, and this is important, going to the smart contract on Etherscan. Uh, this is also a way to validate whether uh, this is a proper collection or maybe it's a scam. Uh, really great to, to have a look at that. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, that's fine, uh, but at least go to Twitter uh, that is verified and see what other people are saying about the particular collection. It's really important. Uh, now, uh, for the for the item activity, you will see that uh, the, everything here is listed. Uh, who's selling? What's selling? What's the price of being sold? And when? Uh, so actually, because it's all on the blockchain, everything is transparent. You can see every every kind of action that is being done. And finally, there are some recommendations for uh, for for similar uh, cards in the collection. So this is for the the memes. Um, and as you can see, uh, on the right hand. You can go directly to the uh, to the contract, uh, for, and you can see the website of the uh, of the collection, and then you can go to Twitter. Uh, you can also add more things to your collection. So uh, some collections have like a Discord added, Instagram added, and maybe a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, but the crucial thing for uh, any kind of collections to do at least the basic due diligence is going to website plus a Twitter, and if you're more on the technical side, then also contract, see if the contract is verified because that's a, uh, that's always something which is important. If the contract is unverified coming from a super small uh, Twitter with like no real following and it just appeared, then probably avoid that because uh, you never know. There are also malicious actors in here that will try to take your money away. So uh, oh, be, be careful here uh, when discovering especially new collections. Uh, then, uh, cool features from OpenSea as well is that you have notable collections. Uh, they often uh, show you uh, things that are interesting, but maybe not trending at the moment, but were trending in the past. Uh, they sometimes uh, focus on, for example, photography or other spotlight. For example, if I were to go down, there's the art spotlight right now. Uh, the second, the second uh, list here is top collector buys. So this is basically showing you what top collectors, top NFT collectors are buying and what they bought. This is also a good way to discover new collections uh, as well as this one. I mean, uh, all of that is uh, giving you some, uh, this is basically uh, pre-voted by OpenSea. So at least uh, they are telling you that those collections are like legit collections and might be interesting to look at, uh, which is a great stuff. Uh, Top collectors, this is also interesting though, uh, this is not pre-voted by OpenSea, this, they only look for what other people are buying. So always be careful, however, uh, have a look at what they're doing here. Uh, this, all, this also might be a good way to discover new collections. Finally, there's a spotlight. They, they tend to change that. Right now it's art NFT spotlight. I think they did like photography spotlight or a particular animal spotlight. Uh, really cool stuff. They also trying to give you, uh, show you different, uh, different collections. Generally speaking, uh, I like OpenSea because it's probably from out of all the NFT markets, it's the best way to discover new collections. It's really hard to do that on other marketplaces. And and generally speaking, discoverability of NFT collections is the crucial thing. And I think that, like, the, the second best way is to actually go on Twitter and search through thousands and thousands of threads and try to discover something yourself. But uh, the best way is to go on the marketplace. OpenSea is the best here uh, right now and just 
see what's trending, see what people are buying, and then uh, go on Twitter, go on Discord, then for particular projects, see the discussions around that. This is the best way to actually uh, look for whatever might interest you in the first place. In the first place. So if you're trying to enter the NFT space and you don't know where to start, OpenSea is definitely the way to go. Install MetaMask, connect to OpenSea, and start uh, browsing everything. Also at the very end, you can go for particular categories. So for example, you could go just for art or collectibles and see what's within the uh, trending collections for art. So as you can see, there's a bunch of things. Not, of, uh, not all of them will be great, but uh, most of them will be at least worth having a look. And if you like something, jump inside and try to understand what the particular collection is standing for what they're doing and for example where, where the value is coming from uh, so this is really really great way to start generally speaking totally recommended uh, OpenSea is still one of the best marketplaces nft marketplaces uh, the competition is growing it's also a good thing because it forces OpenSea to add new features uh, for now definitely OpenSea is the biggest when it comes to the volume volume traded it was the biggest in the past years of course uh, because it was also one of the only NFT marketplaces. Right now we have like LuxRare and Blur, which, which are great marketplaces, but still OpenSea stands at the very top. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto news and see you in the next video.